Hi everyone, my name is Miss Carla and I'm a youth and teen librarian here at the Palos Heights Public Library. I'm going to talk to you about two books today that I think you might be interested in for your age. The first one is called Twin Cities by Jose Pimienta. I hope I pronounced that right. So this is a really fun book for middle school, kind of beginning middle school, 6th, 7th grade. Um, these, these are twins, Fernando and Teresa. So they live in a town called Mexicali, which is right on the U.S.-Mexico border. So it's a town that um, borders California. And they're best friends. They're twins. They're excited to start middle school. And um, Fernando decides to stay local in Mexicali uh, for school, whereas Teresa decides to go across the border each day into the U.S. to attend school. So they soon realize, they think, you know, staying close and bonding will be uh, easier than they realize because um, Fernando decides to stay, thinking all his friends are going to be at his school, and Teresa's excited to get a new experience. And Fernando finds out most of his friends have transferred to the school in the U.S. And Teresa finds out that going to school in a new country is a little bit harder than she thought. So it's a really, oh, I should mention, it's actually a graphic novel. And it has really beautiful um, illustrations. So it's a nice, um, lots of pictures. Um, I also really like at the end, there's an author's note. He talks about having a similar experience. He decided he went to school in Mexico, but his some of his siblings went to school in the U.S. There's also a picture of the town, if I can find it, which is pretty neat in here. Some really interesting sketches of the family and everything. So Fernando and you know Fernando and Teresa have they have some fighting, they have some issues. So here's the map. Um, they realize that it's going to be harder to stay as close as they were, especially going to two different schools. Teresa has to get up much earlier than her brother to go and cross the border each day. Um, but they, they realize that through and through, they're still twins. They're still best friends. So this is a really fun book. I recommend it for anyone who has siblings. You know what it's like to fight with a brother or sister. Uh, maybe you have family that lives somewhere else. Maybe they don't live with you all the time. So this, you can relate to this book. And like I said, the illustrations are just beautiful. So that's the first recommendation. My second recommendation is called Honestly, Elliot by Jillian McDunn. So Elliot is a boy who, he's been going through a lot. He started middle school. He was diagnosed with ADHD, a disorder that means that has, he has trouble focusing and his parents um, are divorced and his dad is having a new baby uh, with his wife. And so Elliot's struggling to deal with it all. So Elliot had something happen that he calls the incident where he made a bad decision and broke something. And it's kind of been haunting him and he's trying to figure out how to navigate having ADHD as well as being a middle schooler, as well as going through all these life changes. So he ends up, he gets assigned a business project and he, and he befriends someone new named Mary Mel, and they decide they're going to make pies for their business project. So the project is they have to come up with an idea, and they actually present it and sell their item at this fair. And Elliot, I should mention, Elliot's obsessed with cooking. He loves cooking, but not baking. So when Mary Bell says, let's make pies, Elliot, Elliot just has has to learn something new. So they end up becoming really good friends, and he ends up figuring out that it's okay to make mistakes and everybody makes mistakes sometimes. So it's a really nice um, historic, I would not historical, I would say more contemporary fiction. It's a contemporary fiction, but anyone who has ever felt a little bit different or feels like maybe, you know, they're, ma they're making mistakes and other people aren't, this is a good read for you because you'll realize everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has a tough time. So that's my second recommendation. I hope you come by the library and pick one of them up, but if not, I'll see you very soon.